What's up guys? Tessa Kirby here with a little hair care routine tutorial for you. I am super excited to talk to you guys about my recent collaboration with Something You Salon. I want to apologize for my voice. It's kind of cracking because I'm a little bit sick, but bear with me as I go through this tutorial, please. So I got to meet up with salon owner Amanda Bear. You guys, she's amazing. She's so sweet, so kind, and an amazing business owner. This girl is rocking it at business life. She has grown the salon bigger in one and a half years than most companies do in just five years. Just get to know this woman, she's amazing. She sat down with me for an hour and a half talking about all the products that Something New Salon offers to their clients. Not only that, but she personalized it for me and she gave me a full rundown of everything that my hair needs specifically. So that is what this whole this whole video is about today. Before we dive in, I just want to give a special shout out for Something You Salon and Spa for partnering with me today, for partnering with me on this video, and for talking about some amazing, amazing products. If you haven't been into Something You Salon and Spa, I totally encourage you to do so. They've got an amazing team of stylists on there. They do makeup, they do hair, they do wedding parties, and they do skincare. They have an esthetician in-house that does facials, which is awesome. I'm gonna go through all the products that I use today and I hope that you enjoy. Let's get to work, here we go. All right, so the products that we used for this video are all Aveda products and I am super excited to share them with you right now. So as you can see, my hair is wet and I just showered with my Aveda shampoo and conditioner because I have thick yet fine hair and I often get dry scalp. This is called, this is the shampoo and conditioner combo and this is Smooth Infusion. This is a conditioner mask. And so what she recommended for me, because I um, don't have a lot of time to shower, which she said is a great thing because you shouldn't shower a ton during the week because it dries out your hair. And so this mask kind of helps to give back the nutrients into your hair, helps to moisturize without being super dense. But this has been awesome. And then this shampoo has been great. She recommended that I shampoo my hair twice. So I really like that process. I um, seen a difference in my scalp even from the first time I used it my hair my scalp was super dry and after really scrubbing it and working it in my my scalp has not been dry since next I use Aveda's damage remedy and it's like heat protector and so I put this on before doing any type of heat treatment to my hair and this stuff has been awesome it's like a cream kind of and you're supposed to shake it up first so I'm gonna shake it shake it shake it and then I'm gonna put like a dime size to a nickel size in my hair Oh, here you go. And I just rub it together and I start at the ends of my hair and work my way up. All right, after that comes my favorite product. The thing that I emphasized to Amanda when I was there was that my hair doesn't have trouble with volume per se, but it has trouble keeping the volume. So this she gave me, she recommended the thickening tonic right here and this has been like my favorite go-to product um, and this really helps it actually helps your hair strands to uh, no to expand making your hair seem fuller and thicker and so this has been my favorite so now I'm going to spray this on before I blow dry next I'm going to blow dry my hair so I will be right back right after this Ta-da! okay I just blew dry my hair and what I forgot to mention about this amazing volume, sorry, thickening tonic, which is my favorite, is that um, not only does it add volume and thickness to your, to your hair, excuse me, um, but it helps to style and it helps your hair to like grab and go in the direction that you want it to go in. So that's another plug for this stuff because <clears throat> it's amazing. Okay, so next I'm gonna do something in my hair care routine that's a little bit different than most people's. Um, I like my hair to last a long time, not just like a day or two. I like it to last like four days solid. Like I said, I don't take a lot of showers. I don't have time. I have to keep it lasting as long as possible. One way that I do this is by adding a little bit of dryness and even more grip to my hair. I find that when my hair is more um, shiny and soft, I want to touch it all the time and touch it all the time. And when I do that, it gets really, really greasy a lot faster. What I like to do in this next section is I like to use Aveda's Shampure 
dry shampoo. Now this stuff looks a little bit different than most dry shampoos that you see because it's not an aerosol can. So this is how you use this stuff. Tip it upside down like this and then you kind of pop it. See? Now I like to add dry shampoo into my hair before it's even been a day. I like to just start sectioning off my hair and adding dry shampoo in and next I will straighten. So I'm going to start doing that. I also like to tease my hair um, just close to my scalp, not really far out. I don't want it to be like huge hair. I just want to have a little bit more volume up here and around close to my um, face and head. And the dry shampoo really helps to lock in the hairs to make them stay. This stuff does, um, if you have dark hair, you'll notice that it makes your hair kind of white. But girls with dark hair, this is a secret and tip for you. Unfortunately, there really isn't a product out there that is great for us with dark hair, especially when it comes to dry shampoo. Um, basically everything is going to make your hair white. Uh, the thing to do is to let it sit for a little while because when you let it sit, is when it's absorbing all those, all that moisture and greasiness. Um, and so unfortunately, secret is there isn't a secret you just let it sit and then once you've it's sat for a while you rub it in we're gonna go ahead and tease my hair a little bit now I'm going to straighten my hair to make my ends extra extra crisp and sharp I'll be right back stay tuned okay I'm back and what you missed was me straightening my hair and then I also put in some of my flexible hold hairspray. I don't use Aveda flexible hold hairspray, but they do have an amazing product called Air Control that I'll link below that is a number one seller for them. Like it's been around for decades. So basically um, I'm done after this. And then how I maintain my hair for the next couple of days, like those four days, I like to keep it volumized and clean is I continue to use this, the dry shampoo. And then Avedal also has a product that is um, great for damage control. So not only do they have the pea protector that I put on before I did anything to my hair, but they have a, a dry conditioner as well. And this stuff is amazing. You, you spray it on before you do any type of heat treatment to your hair again. So like tomorrow if I straighten my hair before I curled it, I would put this on all around my the ends. Not You're not soaking it, but you're just saturating it enough that it's covering your hair strands. And then what's great about it is it not only adds moisture back to your hair, but it softens if your hair gets super brittle after you've used heat on it a couple days in a row. <clears throat> this is great because it gives your hair back the nutrients that it needs. So this is amazing stuff. But that concludes the end of my hair care routine tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you'll come back. I will link all the products below so that you have total access to everything that I talked about today. And if you have any kind of questions, just let me know in the comments section below. I post every single Sunday and sometimes in week time. I don't know, whatever I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, subscribe to my channel, please. I would love to see you back here. If you want to get to know me a little bit more, you can check out my other social media platforms listed below. I hope to see you guys again. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless.